hours later. Christina, I must apologize. I'll be spending the night at my parents' house. What? You're leaving today? But Josh, you promised we'd have dinner together tonight. I know. I was looking forward to it as well. But my mom requested my company tonight. My dad's away on business and she's alone. But you were there just recently. You broke your promise to spend time with me then too. What can I do? My dad's been away a lot lately. My mom's loneliness is palpable. Still, don't you think you're visiting her too often? What about me? I feel lonely too. Comparing your loneliness to hers is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? I'm sure you'll manage without me for a day. But you're going to be away for more than a day, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many friends I have or what hobbies I pursue. That's not the point. If friends are enough, then why isn't it the same for your mother? Surely she has friends who can keep her company. Well, she doesn't really have that many friends. And I doubt any of them would want to visit her late at night. That's why I need to be there for her. She feels lonely. Funny. I could say the same about myself. That may be true, but don't you feel sympathy for my mother? Unlike you, she's not young anymore. That's not the point. You promised to be there for me. Why do you always prioritize your mother over me? Don't I matter to you? Well, how about this? Why don't you come with me? You're off work tomorrow, right? Huh? Yes, but... If you're so upset about being alone, then come with me. It's the perfect solution. No one gets left out. Sounds fair, right? Thanks for the offer, but I think I'll stay home. Huh. Why not? I thought you wanted to spend time with me. Isn't that what this is all about? If you come to my parents' house, my mother won't be lonely and we can spend time together too. It's a win-win situation. No thanks, Josh. I'm sure I'd just be an intruder there anyway. An intruder? What are you talking about? You're being too pessimistic. Seriously, come along with me. It'll be more enjoyable if we're all together. The more the merrier. Josh, you do realize that your mother doesn't like me, right? I don't want to spoil everyone's mood by being there. How many times do I have to tell you that it's all in your hand? She really does like you. My mother is just a bit shy around people she doesn't know well. She may not show it much, but she really does care about you. If you say so. As I mentioned, my mother would be delighted to see you. And you wouldn't have to spend the night alone. So let's go. It's been a while since your last visit. I'm fine, really. I've made up my mind to stay home. I'll just look at any photos you take once you're back. Have a good time and don't worry about me. Are you sure you don't want to come? Well, if you insist. In that case, I'll head out alone. I'll be back in two days, so look after the house. Love you. Excuse me? I thought you were only staying for the night. What changed? Well, it turns out my dad will be away for two nights now. What's one more day? Ah, uh, I see. Do as you please. Thanks, darling. So it's settled then. I'll spend the next two nights at my parents' house just to be clear. Don't cause too much trouble while I'm away. Over one month later. Christina, I'm on my way home. But there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Can it wait until you're home? 
No, it can't. There's been a slight change in plans. A change in plans? What are you trying to say? I have a request. Would you mind if my mother stays with us for a while? Excuse me? She has her own house, doesn't she? Why does she need to stay with us? Well, my father's next business trip is going to be quite long. He'll be home for the holidays, but that's about it. And? What's your point? Why does that mean your mother needs to stay with us? Isn't it clear? My mother will be alone for weeks at a time if she doesn't stay with us. If something were to happen to her during that time, it would be disastrous. I see. And your point is? Well, I have work commitments. Commuting from my parents' house every day isn't feasible. So I thought it would be best if you stay with us. We have a spare room and she won't be in the way. You'll be fun. Josh, we both know that the issue isn't about space. Oh, really? Then what is the issue? Let me ask you this. When the idea of her moving in came up, what did she say? My mother? At first, she declined, but eventually agreed. She said she'd rather live with us than alone. And remember, it's not permanent. So you suggested it first, right? Yes, I did. But what does it matter? It's my house. You're here because of me. When I say my mother is going to live with us, you should listen to your husband. Wives shouldn't complain. Are you serious? This is 2022, not 1922. I'm the one who brings in the money. If I ask for something, a good wife would say yes. No more complaints. My mother will live with us. Do your best to get along with her. We all need to contribute to our family's happiness. Wait a minute. What about me? Don't make decisions without consulting me. This affects me too. Don't ignore me. Josh, answer me. Over one month later. I thought your father was returning for the weekend. Your mother has been staying with us this entire time. Well, I'm not sure. Don't ask me, I guess he's swamped with work. Living with your mother every day is driving me insane. What are you talking about? You're blowing things out of proportion. She's been helping us around the house. You have to admit, she's made life easier for you. Easier for me? Quite the contrary. Even if she wasn't doing any housework, she'd still find a way to complain about me every day. I'm doing my share of housework too, you know? Even though I'm not perfect, I'm doing my best. Oh, come on. Housework is your responsibility. Even if you're not good at it, you should still do it. She's doing you a favor by taking over your chores. Why are you so hostile towards her when she's helping you out? You seem to be neglecting your duties as my wife. It shouldn't be your job to do them for you. My duties as your wife? What are you implying? For instance, preparing meals and having them ready for me when I return from work. Washing and ironing my work shirts. These are basic things that you should be doing for me as my wife. This is my house and what I say goes. So what? Are you saying that she's better than me because she's doing all those things? Yeah, exactly. If she wasn't my mother, she'd make a perfect wife. Not that you could ever measure up to her though. You clearly lack the common sense of being a wife. I can't believe this. That's so unfair of you to say. I've been trying as hard as I can to meet your expectations. Just trying isn't enough. 
you haven't been putting enough effort into your duties as my wife. You become lazy now that my mother has moved in with us. I think it would be beneficial if my mother taught you how to do your chores properly. You clearly aren't very good at them. Do you even realize how rude you sound? I bet both of you have been talking behind my back about what a terrible wife I am, haven't you? Did my mother say that too? Well, can you blame her? I had a feeling she was thinking the same thing as me. Excuse me? My mother and I tend to think alike. So it's not surprising that she feels the same way as I do. Oh, and by the way, next time I'm going to ask her to stay even longer. She can teach you how to be a proper wife. It's for your own good. I don't need her to teach me anything. I can do the housework perfectly fine without her. In fact, I can do them best without her. Oh please, you're hopeless. I know that you aren't at all close with my mother. But that's only because you haven't made an effort to build a better relationship with her. My mother has been trying to compromise, but nothing will work if you aren't willing to meet her halfway. Take this opportunity to get along with her. It's the least you could do. So what you're saying is that it doesn't matter at all how I'm feeling right now. You're just going to keep ignoring me, aren't you? That's what it means to be a wife. It's high time that you realize that. This isn't your house, it's mine. You live under my roof because of me. You're making things difficult by not behaving like a proper wife. Huh? Only making things difficult for you though, right? Yeah, obviously. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm the one who's in charge here. You're getting out of line. I'm the one with a high-paying job. I'm the one who is supporting us financially, not you. It's my house, my rules. So you have to do as I say, no matter what. Got it? Hey, Christina, are you even there? Don't you dare ignore me. Several months later. How long will you keep sulking? I'm tired of you giving me the silent treatment. If that's how you want to play, I have a proposition. Oh, really? A proposition? Do share. What if my mother stays with us indefinitely? You can't be serious? She's overstayed her welcome. I won't return home as long as she's there. Let's face it, you don't want to come back, do you? If that's the case, you can't complain if I no longer consider you a resident of this house, can you? That's funny. Have you ever wondered why I don't want to come back? You're just jealous of the bond between my mother and me. Admit it. Maybe I was a bit harsh on you, but you deserved it. And now you've run away from home, wallowing in self-pity. It's laughable. None of what you said is true. Oh, enlighten me then. Why did you run away? If you don't stop this nonsense right now, I'm going to lose my temper. So what if you get angry? It doesn't concern me. Keep this up and I'll divorce you. You've been warned. Really? You're considering divorce? If you continue with this attitude, divorce seems inevitable. I see. My mother agrees with me that divorce might be the best option. Neglecting your husband and leaving his house? What a terrible wife you are. Everyone will label you a failure as a wife. Luckily for you, I'm a wise and generous man. If you decide to return home now, I'll let you move back in. I'll even give you some time to do so. You should be grateful. What are you talking about? I have no interest in returning to your side. You're so self-absorbed, aren't you? Don't act superior when all you care about is yourself. 
self-absorbed? That's rich coming from you. I was kind enough to think about your struggles as my wife. That's why I involve my mother. I'm trying to help you become a better wife. Show some gratitude. You're so ungrateful. Don't pretend like this is for my benefit. I've had enough of your nonsense. Give me a break. How long will your tantrum last? My patience is wearing thin. Stop this nonsense and fulfill your duties as a wife. How am I being selfish? That's all on you. If it's not selfishness, then what is it? You've become too arrogant for your own good. My mother and I have been too lenient with you. Enough is enough. Don't ever show your face at my house again. Understand. Yeah, I got it. Several days later. What on earth have you been up to? It's high time you return home. You'd better not be shacking up with some other man. I'm not that kind of woman. Ha! Huh. As predictable as ever. But if you apologize to me now, I might just forgive you. Forgive me? For what exactly? For disrespecting me and my mother. Either you're too dense to realize it, or you're feigning ignorance. What nonsense are you spouting? You don't even know why I left, and you're making things up that aren't true. Besides, you two kicked me out. Don't you remember? So why the sudden change of heart? Can't make up your mind? I have nothing to apologize for. You've got some nerve. We never ask you to leave. You're twisting the story to suit your narrative. You left of your own accord. That was your decision, not ours. So don't play the victim. We did nothing wrong. You're the one who made it impossible for me to stay. And your mother made living in that house unbearable. That's why I'm blaming you too, though I'm sure you won't accept that it's not my fault. You're just envious of the bond between my mother and me. You were always inadequate when you lived here and started blaming us for your shortcomings. My mother and I were just trying to live our lives. But your incompetence made things difficult for us. Just trying to live your lives, huh? Whatever. If you're so against coming back, then we don't need you anyway. Things have been much more peaceful without you around. Don't bother us again. We're both sick and tired of your selfishness and stupidity. I can't express how relieved we are to finally be rid of you. Yeah, I'm sure. I wouldn't want to intrude on your lovey-dovey life. Lovey-dovey? What are you talking about? It's clear that you're sitting with jealousy over our happy lives. I think I'm going to be sick. You two are revolting. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you something. Since you drove me out of that house, I cancelled the rental agreement. I guess it just slipped my mind. Wait, what? You're joking, right? Looks like that got your attention. You've been saying that it's your house a lot lately, and that I was just someone who was lucky enough to live there. But the truth is, that's actually my house. I signed the rental agreement and started living there by myself when I was still single. Not that you remember, of course. Do you understand? It's not your house, and it never was. What the hell? I mean... So what? Like I said, I cancelled the rental agreement. Do you even get what I'm trying to tell you? I didn't rent it for you and your mother. Especially not so that you could continue your disgusting romance together after I left. Are you serious? Damn it, Christina. Now, just wait a second. When did you cancel the rental agreement? 
Ah, I can't believe this. So typical of you to screw us over like this. It's my house. It's my choice if and when I cancel the rental agreement. It's not you or your mother's house. So you can't really complain, can you? It doesn't have anything to do with you. That being said, I'm never going back there and I'm divorcing you. Don't mess with me. You think this is funny? My mother and I are still living here. Okay, so what exactly is your point? Don't give me that. What are we supposed to do now? You've really done it this time. All I hear is, don't take me and my mother's love nest away from us. You two really are the worst. It's sickening. I don't even want to know what you two get up to. What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. I never said that I was in love with her like that. You're the one letting your imagination run away. That's the only way anyone could interpret your words and actions. Please, no more. You're too disgusting. I never want to see either of you ever again. I'm not done with you yet. Yeah, well I'm done with you. And I'm dead serious. I've had enough of you for 100 lifetimes. I'm not asking. You better come back here right this minute. I'm warning you. Do you even understand the position you're in? Of course I do. I'm well aware that I'm in a position of power and you two are panicking. I've got to admit, it feels pretty good. I have the contract for that house and I'll soon be your ex-wife too. This is ridiculous. You can't be serious. Are you really going to divorce me? You're making a huge mistake. What are you saying? It's not like I have any other choice. After everything that has happened, divorcing you is the only sensible option left to me. You better stop acting so childish and do what I say. I'm serious. I already told you, I'm serious too. Your perfect mother agrees with me that divorcing you is for the best, right? Besides, I wouldn't want to get in the way of anything between you two. Seems to me that a divorce would solve all of our problems. Everyone wins. You can get your mother to take care of everything for you. Cook your meals, iron your shirts, change your diaper, etc. Your mother is so much better at doing those things than me. I could never measure up to her after all. How dare you? You think you can just say whatever you want and get away with it? What are you getting so worked up for? You're the one who started this argument, remember? I didn't start anything. I don't know what you're talking about. No matter what, it's always my mother, my mother, my mother. I've seen you message me that so often that my brain is going numb. Excuse me? Could you stop saying excuse me? It's really getting on my nerves. Excuse me? You can't understand my messages that I sent you over two minutes ago? You really are an idiot. A chicken would be able to comprehend things quicker than you. Cut it out. You I'm sick of you talking down to me like that. Get back here right now. This is your last warning. My last warning? What are you going to do if I don't come back? It isn't even your house anymore. This is comedy gold. You're still making fun of me, huh? That's correct. I am indeed making fun of you. Don't mess with me. Wow, you're so annoying. You just keep repeating yourself. And I'm not messing with you. Now, pack up your things and move out. If you don't get a move on, they'll end up evicting you. You've got to be kidding me. 
Make sure to move out in less than one month, okay? You're a nuisance to everyone else there. Oh, yeah. And try not to wreck the place before you do, okay? It'll just be a waste of money. Well, even if you do, I can pay for it. This is ridiculous. You seriously want to divorce me? Um, yeah. I'm not strong enough mentally to stay with a mama's boy like you. I'd probably kill myself if I had to spend the rest of my life with you too. I'm not a mama's boy. No, you definitely are. You're the very definition of a mama's boy. You're always getting your mother to do everything for you. You can't really call yourself an adult, can you? You might as well sleep in the same bed with her like when you were little. If you're not a mama's boy, then I don't know who is. You clearly prefer being with your mother than any woman your age. After all, you kicked me out and you didn't even try to contact me. It's not like that. I'm just worried about her, okay? That's all there is to it. I'm sure she'll be fine without you there for her 24-7. An old hag like your mother who likes to pick on her son's wife won't be in trouble the minute you're gone. She might seem like a sweet, frail old lady to you, but I have to admit, she can take care of herself. She isn't going to drop dead anytime soon, unfortunately. Hey! Don't you insult my mother like that. You'll regret it. Even though when your mother spoke bad of me, you didn't say anything? I guess it's only when it's your mother that you get this defensive. What are you talking about? Don't give me weak excuses like she's just shy of people she doesn't know well. I know that she simply hates me. There's no misunderstanding between us whatsoever. I'm sure that to your eyes, she doesn't have any ill will towards me. That's because you think she's so perfect that I must be purposefully making her look bad. No matter how much I ask for your help, you'd always blame me inside with your mother. I don't know what inspired you to act like this. But it started as soon as your mother came to live with us. It's pathetic how you've tried to be the bossy husband. Desperately vying for her approval. What are you, five years old? Oh, give me a break. Is that really how you see it? And by the way, Mr. I support us financially, here's an idea for you. Since you're so wealthy, why don't you buy a new house for your mother to live in? After all, if you love her so much, you might as well give her the best house that you can afford. Then once she settles in, she can call you over to visit her. My point is, if you're going to brag about being the one who provides the most income, you should do it once you become a proper adult and actually have the means to pay for it all by yourself. Yeah, well, the thing is... I thought so. Please both get along and go back to your father's house. Hey, Christina, just wait a second, please. I know you're just joking about getting a divorce. You aren't seriously going to leave me, right? Are you sure that you aren't joking? How could you possibly think that any sane person would stay married to you after all that's happened? Well, what are you going to do after you divorce me, huh? It must be embarrassing for you to go through that. Everyone will be so ashamed of you. How exactly would that be embarrassing for me? Oh, I get it. It'll be embarrassing for you, isn't that right? I bet your mother must have said something to you. She probably told you that you mustn't let me go, right? You don't know what you're talking about. My mother didn't say anything to me. I decided things for myself. Wow, I've got to admit, I'm surprised. I didn't know that you had any opinions of your own. Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I won't feel any shame at all from divorcing you. These days, around half of all marriages end in divorce. 
I'll just be another one of the millions of people who escaped from a terrible marriage. Besides, being a slave to a mommy's boy like you was definitely more embarrassing than getting divorced could ever be. A slave? Oh, come on. Talk about bending the truth. But that's exactly what I was. You told me not to talk back to you, for one thing. Or have you forgotten? Not to mention that you forced me to respond to your orders with a simple yes. It was hell. You even ordered me to learn how to properly do housework from your mother. Is she a god to you? You seem to worship the very ground she walks on, so I can't help but come to that conclusion. Hey now, just come down alright? Compared to a life of being tied down by you two, being a divorcee is the best deal I've ever heard of. And the fact that I know you won't want to be divorced makes it even sweeter. Is that really how much you hate me? Um, yeah, I hate you with every fiber of my being. I just can't make up my mind who I hate more, you or your vile mother. Though I can't forget about your father. Even though he knew your mother was living with us. He didn't say anything this entire time. I hate him too. Although I wouldn't be surprised if he just wanted to get away from your mother for a while. Thinking about finally being free from you all. It makes me so happy that I could just start dancing. Hey, come on. I'm sick of my mother telling me what to do. I see now that you are always the one for me. I promise to treat you right from now on. I'm sorry for neglecting you for so long. So please, don't get a divorce. What's more, my mother has started telling me that I need to be a proper husband. And that I've gotten carried away lately. That's fine with me. You can enjoy getting carried away for the rest of your life. Without me. Nothing can change my mind now. I'm getting a divorce no matter what. I hope you can find another beautiful slave to marry who doesn't mind at all that you're a mama's boy. Not that there's much luck in finding a woman like that. Ciao. Christina. Just wait a minute. Give me a second chance. Are you even there? Christina. Don't ignore me. I'm begging you. When my friends started asking me why I divorced Josh, I told them everything that happened without a second thought. As a result, my friends started to spread a rumor that Josh was a mama's boy who still slept with his mother. My bad. The two of them quickly ended up moving back to their old house. My former mother-in-law is now desperately trying to find Josh a new bride. However, I hear that Josh has had enough with marriage and doesn't want a new wife. I just thought, hey, that's my line. I started living on my own once again. My new place isn't quite as spacious as the previous one, but after all that time spent with Josh and his evil mother, I've really come to appreciate having my own space. It's so liberating. I can finally breathe again. I'm not in any hurry to start dating again, let alone get married. For the time being, I'm going to put all my energy into my job, as well as improving myself as a person. I'm sure that there will be challenges. But for the first time in a long time, I finally feel that I'm making the most of my life.